This is Eternal Blade, and welcome to the Orc Gun Wagon uh, Part 8. Actually, save it. Gun Wagon Part. Okay, um, let's continue working on this little side piece here. So, what we actually need to do now is uh, finish this, and because I can't really see, I'm going to make it kind of like a little air vent. So, create a box, and give it a height of about two, one, and uh, convert it to an editable poly. Go into the edge mode, press Control A to select all the edges, and chamfer them. So let's give them a little chamfer there. And then sync it back into this uh, thing. Copy it. Mm, it's like eight copies, works pretty good. And uh, select the side panel, go into compound objects, pro boolean, start picking, and pick all the green little boxes I have here. And then once you hit start picking again, right click, do that. Uh, convert to an editable poly, and now you have these perfect little groove things. Uh, we're going to the edge mode, and it'll select all the edges, and give it a small chamfer, not too much, because you'll notice issues with it. Okay. Um, that's it. So exit isolation mode, and you have this nice little box thing now. Don't know what it does, but I don't really care. Okay. Um, let's create... Uh, uh, get this smokestack and all its little greebles on top there and go to the top view and copy it over okay and just rotate it a different direction so it looks uh, orky and uh, I'll have to fix those later they look kind of thin but uh, let's see next we're going to want to build some connectors in here, so that's simple enough. Go to standard objects, cylinder, uh, build cylinder, actually no, don't do that. Um, isolate this object again. Okay, once it's isolated, uh, then go into cylinders, and actually go into boxes first. Create a box, about a length of 3.2 with a 51 and a height of 0.89. Convert to an editable poly. Select the top polygon and select its edges. Chamfer them. Okay. Uh, then copy this down there. Okay. Uh, and then get cylinders and using auto grid. Just make what looks like little bolts that can hold it in. Uh, make it an editable poly. Go into edge mode, chamfer. Okay, do a little chamfer. Select the entire thing. Bring it over. Alright. Then bring them down. Okay. Um, then let's build bigger cylinders, which are going to be like. Uh, power connectors, I guess, and make them them have about 12 sides, okay, bring it up just a bit, and exit isolation mode, what you want to do is make sure that it doesn't uh, stick through, so decrease the height until it uh, disappears, okay, and then uh, in your top view, just create uh, some copies of this, whichever way you want to do it. And you don't have to make them perfectly even either. If you want, you can even rotate a few of them. Okay, go into perspective and select 
all of your little power things. Use the move tool and move them so they or shift drag so you copy them just so they sit nicely on that one. And now we are connected to the sides. Okay. Um, let's. The picture, these things here are bigger, but we're just going to fill this gap in with, uh, oh, let's call it a power converter. So, create a box, okay, um, convert it to an editable poly, polygon, select the edges, chamfer, alright, chamfer them, and then select the edges here. Uh, connect them eight times. Go into the polygon mode. Select all of those polygons. Bevel by polygon. Decrease the height and uh, make the outline about 0.27. Okay. Select all those edges. Chamfer them again. All right, and just give it a bit of a twist there. Okay, All right, now we filled in that empty space with a thing. Actually, to make it even more realistic, let's uh, put um, wires. No, not wires. Um, I'll figure that out later. Okay, let's start work on the section that goes here. So what you're going to want to do is select this, get this polygon, okay. Um, extrude it by about one, okay. Um, inset it, and then scale it on the x-axis until it just reaches the edge there, or a little bit before actually. Okay. I'll bevel it outward, so make the outline amount about 0.21, height of 1, or 0.1, sorry. Uh, then give it an extrude so that um, it's higher. About extrude of a 44.25. Uh, we have this nice big box thing. And um, select all of its edges on the top here. So just select all those. And select the side one as well. If I can find it. Okay. And give those a chamfer. Uh, use. You only need one segment now. Okay. Um, Next, select this polygon here and uh, inset it by about uh, 4.5. Give it a bevel which goes in, so a height of about 0.1, outline amount of about negative 0.41. Extrude it by point. Uh, Two five. Give it another bevel. Okay, and actually, I uh, use the grow button to grab all those edges and just bring them back a bit because we're pushing up against that. Okay. Um, next, let's start using the placement tool to put some uh, gribbles on it. So, max script run script placement tool. All right. Uh, set selected a source, pick distribution one, that, uh, place, just start placing them, and uh, keep placing them. And uh, that'll be it for part eight. I'll see you in part nine.